Okay. Another thing that was a pretty big hot topic for Gobi, and a lot of people have been mentioning it in our comments, was the hospital situation and Tupac security. He says there was not any. Um, you were in charge of security at the time. Uh, what's your response to that? Mm. Well, it's funny. It's interesting. He said on the Art the Dialogue channel, well, he never mentioned that. Well, he, I think on the, the second interview, he ended up saying that death row security came three days later or something like that. Well, there's a text. Here's a text from Gobi. Y'all see? Because I'm telling you, man, what you talking about? Well, you got to clear this up. He said, well, it wasn't no security for 24 hours. Okay. Well, that ain't what you said on that channel. But let me say this. Uh, Gobi and everybody was around the, the hospital wanting to feel in charge. Not in charge. Feel useful. You know, wanted to be around. Have a reason to justify sitting around being at the hospital. Like how it's funny, I'll say, hey, that's your friend. And the nurse said, come in there and take a look. Well, as I told y'all, wasn't nobody going in there. And I know this for a fact without Miss, Miss Afini Shakur saying it was okay to go in there. Especially after we had, I guess he probably didn't know about this situation. My security had to take the camera from the, the candy striper. Because they were, well, a, popsy, uh, a, per, well, a person that was trying to get up there to, Take a picture for a magazine. We didn't have paparazzi then, or whatever y'all call them, uh, paparazzi. But we just had magazine prints, and she was trying to get one. But hey, man, I'm I'm not gonna keep debating this. I I didn't have a security guard, Rich McCulley, get investigated on camera, getting fired. For, then they're getting fired for that reason. But it was other reasons they ended up getting fired. But for that reason, he was investigated. And putting, gotten in a whole bunch of trouble for his picture being on camera sitting outside the uh, the door. Um, my security was outside the door. Anybody say it wasn't no shit? Pug Daddy, Pug Daddy said there was security. <laughs> Man, okay, there you go, right there. And that's why I get mad with the interviewer. Well, he on his channel. Pac Daddy said the security was sitting, the death row security was outside the door. Each time I walked out, where's the security? What, what's going on? You remember he, he tried to say they, they, like they were so inquired because they worried about something. Yeah. So that answered y'all question right there. Look at this footage right here. Those are my two security guards running outside with Miss Fafini, Shakur, getting her to the car by all the press. We saw that in the Dear Mama documentary. Man, oh, I mean, oh, what can I do? What can I say? But, but I was fired, remember? Me and my security was fired. That's why I pulled them off security. I pulled security. Man, I'm so tired of this. I wish I was fired. As I meant to say in an in a, in a interview earlier that I neglected and forgot, I'm the only one that can prove that my, after everybody that did get fired wasn't around or allegedly got fired by Pa, my security is the only one with them in New York. Gobi kept hollering. He wanted to keep saying, he didn't want to go to Vegas for two weeks, two weeks. What about New York? Did he want to go to Vegas with Death Row the week before, Gobi? Five days before? What about that part, Gobi? You forgot about that part, huh? Because it's just all about Vegas. And, you know, when you and your ass went and did your prep for the interview, y'all forgot about that, that part. Man, stop sticking to the script to try to make Death Row and Suge Knight, Reggie Wright, and Right Way Protective Services look bad. Call the truth. Tell the truth. You were the only one fired. You weren't, you weren't even fired. That was Tracy's company. It's Tracy Robinson shit. 
Yeah, you might just lay in the pipe to her or whatever and, and, and had her a little, you know, nose wide open or whatever. But that's all you was, Goby, at the time was Tracy dude. You heard what, what, how you, well, you know, you know all but said how Chug treated your ass. And that you called up the, man, if, so now you want us to believe that David Corn, Jimmy Iovine, and Def and Interscope going to go against Suge Knight. They're going to cut you a check, because, but Suge didn't want the check cut because we had a contract with Interscope. But that goes to show the groupie and all of them. Well, I guess he was signed to Death Row. Why would Death Row be the one cutting the check and signing the contracts and, and the check coming from? I don't know. I don't know, but I don't know what y'all thinking is, what y'all beliefs is, why y'all keep believing and just letting people tell y'all things. If I was fired, then I had every right not to send, have any security with him. I wouldn't be up here trying to justify it. But since I wasn't fired, that's why I have to take this heat and take some responsibility for my security, Frank Alexander's actions of not being properly uh, armed when he elected to leave his gun by his own admission in his book, in his car. But y'all forget about that. I will have to take some culpability of what? I ain't ever, because nobody has ever called me and told me what happened? That's one of the Shug Knight's lies, for whatever reason. Tell him to his face. Tell him now. Hope he addresses this. And I'm sure when he collects call Reggie or whatever, because he going to have to, then we can clear up this calling me asking for five security. If you call and ask me for five security, why can't y'all understand this? And I didn't do it. And he lost a big access, a friend, a little brother like that. Do y'all know me and shit kept fucking with each other? Do y'all realize that we kept fucking with each other? I ended up running his company months later after that. But I totally disobeying. Never listened to him. Would you hire somebody to run your operation like that? That you already know don't listen to what you say? Reggie, Reggie, let's clear something up real quick because this comes up a lot and I don't think it's fair and I don't think we really, really talked about it. If you would have sent, and this is my opinion, I'm going to state my opinion and then you, you can respond and tell me if I'm on point or if you disagree or if you agree. If you would have sent five people and they all had guns and they all piled into the BMW with Tupac and Suge, nothing, what, what different would have happened if a car pulled up and unloaded on them and there were 10, 15 security guards in the back seat smacked in there with guns, nothing would have happened other than maybe they would have caught a glance of who was driving or who was the shooter. But yeah. my whole point to all this is Biggie had armed security with him. And no one talks about, oh, well, Biggie got killed. Where was his security? He had his security. It didn't matter. If you're, if you're caught in a car, what is security going to do to protect you? That's all I'm saying. Totally agree. I always used to bring, you bring up even a better example with Biggie security. I always talk about JFK, who had uh, the best, the best of the best, supposedly, security. You know, of course, there was a sniper. Well, you know, some good conspiracy theorists say that, you know, that the CIA was involved in all that in, in the yeah. Kennedy thing. But yeah, yeah, go ahead. But yeah, but but you bring up a better one. That's why I said you bring up a better uh, uh, scenario. But my point is, number one, th then y'all wanted to think, because y'all believe Tupac was the type of nigga that would uh, ride in the back seat like Michael, like Michael Jackson would do it. Michael Jackson would have a security guard on this side and a security guard on this side, a security guard on the front, and all that. Michael would do it. Maybe Prince would do it. 
But Tupac Shakur and no rapper going to ride or roll like that back in the 90s. I don't even think they would do it. Today. I don't even think y'all would catch Drake rolling like that. Or NBA Youngboy. Whoever's y'all biggest rappers are now. They not, you know, Beyonce may roll like that, but she rides in a bulletproof van or whatever, you know? Be, you know, but no male rapper. Tupac Shakur. Forget everybody else. I bet you Ice Cube don't even roll like that. And why was it okay for one or two security guards all the other times, but just that one night, you neglect, you failed. But this, for 11 months prior to that, one guard or two guards will, will suffice. Just because it happened? Yeah, I guess. Pete Carroll's a bad coach because he, uh, he elected to throw the ball on the one-yard line for the Super Bowl, then giving it to uh, Marsha and Lynch. People make shit happens. Bad decisions or whatever, but shit happens. But let's say Tupac, Suge Knight called me on that particular day and said, hey, Red, we just got into a fight. Or Frank called me. We just got into a fight with some guys at the, at the club. Uh, we're not coming out. We're not going anywhere until you send five guys. We're staying right here at the Luxor Hotel because we're scared. Where? My question would have been, where's Buntry? Where's Trey? Where's Neckbone? Where's K-Dub? Where's... Whoever else? Where's Frank? Where? Oh, okay. So Reggie and his other guys gonna be any different? So we need another, and there were at least 10 other guys that I, names I didn't name that was in that entourage. Shit, y'all heard low, flip, and, and bus stop. So they were in the car right ahead of them. Man, y'all don't think about what y'all be saying when y'all saying it. Y'all don't, uh, don't realize how stupid y'all motherfuckers sound. Reggie Wright is a bad motherfucker in his mind. Reggie Wright to the next nigga ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? I would have not prevented that. Or me and four, five, three, ten other guys wouldn't have prevented it to John's point. Now, the retaliation, they should say, well, at least some, there would have been some more retaliation. I'm so motherfucking glad. Thank you, Jesus. I probably wouldn't own shit now today. I'd still be a broke motherfucker. A broker motherfucker. Let me say that. Since uh, somebody only think niggas only get a disability check. <laughs> Funniest shit ever. But whatever. Uh, still be the brokest motherfucker ever. Because they would have shot up probably about 10 little old women. Or, I'll probably be in a federal penitentiary or a state, Nevada state penitentiary right now. Because all of my security probably would have killed at least 10 people on that strip shooting. If all of that was true, chasing them down. But what they always forget and, and tell y'all, neglect to tell y'all. And y'all going to learn. And find out, niggas chased the car down. Niggas shot that car and shot it up. They just didn't hit nobody. They just wasn't lucky. Lucky enough, like those punk ass niggas was lucky that day. But hey, it's your opinion. Ain't nothing any of us can do about it. It's an unfortunate situation. But... It just also goes to show me there's a lot of you motherfuckers that don't believe in the Bible. Because no matter, I don't know how Tupac Shakur was going to die on September the 13th. Don't know how. Don't know. But Tupac Shakur was dying. His date was written on the wall for September the 13th for him to die. 
the Bible I believe in. I'm not preaching that, telling y'all, but that's what I know. So all these smart people that claim to be religious, they be always talking about, oh, he wouldn't be dead, he wouldn't be dead if you... No, 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 no. You can't believe this part of the Bible and don't believe this part of the Bible. The Bible says all our date is written in stone, written down. Book of walls. Wall of books or some shit. The day of our dates is already predetermined. God knows when all you motherfuckers going to die. He already knows. Only one person, Hezekiah, that he gave an extra 14 years to. This Sunday, no more preaching. But goddamn, all you scholars, anti-Christian, Scientologist motherfuckers, atheists, <laughs> but that's your call, that's your belief, respect to you.